swore that this was where I needed to be. <laughs> what? Dash is playing Mortal Kombat early. Is he? Dash is? Yeah. He's streaming it. Well, it says rerun. I don't get what the whole rerun thing is about. Uh, meaning that it's a rerun. I mean, somebody's already done it. What are we gonna play? Are we playing WoW? Well? Cool. So I'm connected to this game though. I'm out of range. You post a bunch of stuff for sale. Ooh, it's your dungeon. Dungeon? Yeah. That's what it looks like. Traveler, keep your enemies in your sight. West.
What was that? What was what? What's swinging its tail right in front of you? That's my mount. Tail right in front of you. What is that? The rest of my plan. Hey then. Go to bed. Good night, sir. <laughs> Good night, sir. <laughs> You're being redonkulous. Go on. He heard me pick up the pudding pan. That nice. Go to bed. I am not making you any food. You ate dinner. You ate dessert. It is way past bedtime. Ew. Good night. Hi, Aiden. You heard? I know you heard. Do what you told. Yeah, you heard. He rolled his eyes. Yeah. I didn't get stuck that way one day. One day. Rolling my eyes. You're stuck looking at the ceiling for the rest of your life. Like that? Yeah. No. And I want you to go to bed. Right. I think we get what they want first. Me. You got school in the morning, boy. No, you are trying to get a popsicle. Yeah, I'm not dumb. Go to bed. They're scared of daddy, ain't they? I'm sorry? So he's scared of daddy, isn't he? Sometimes. Sometimes you'll laugh right at me. Really? Oh, yeah. When he wants to listen, he can listen, but when he wants to, he can show his butt. Yeah, that's what I tell him. You better watch out, man. I'm going to strangle your, your chuckler. <laughs> yeah. But he knows. Once, once I get to the point where I, I am not saying the words, I'm staying calm. You need to do what you're doing. He knows. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'll afraid you can go to bed. Now. You don't need nothing to eat. You ate your dinner and you ate a bunch of pudding. <laughs> One. Two. Boy, you're not going to like me when I get three. Huh. Prove it, huh? You just made the wrong mistake, my friend. Gotta love kids. Hmm? Prove it. Yeah. I think it's pretty fair to say that the smart ass gene is dominant. <laughs> that is rude. Because it runs rampant in our family. <laughs> Rudeness. It's not being rude, it's stating a fact. Oh. I don't know anybody in my family that's not a smart ass. I thought. My family, my dog Yours is just the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's just rude. <laughs> His is all the jackasses and assholes. Oh. Yeah. And we've got all the smart asses. I oh. mean, I can be a, a royal, you know, paying right in your her, her highness, but... I could be a prick. Yeah, I, I definitely agree that daddy would not be able to live up here. He didn't up in jail.
Either that or he'd be cross state lines for 10 minutes and turn around and be like, I'm Griffin leaving. Griffin. <laughs> and yeah, it is, man. That is one long flight. There's two. Okay, I'll go out into the living room for about the 20th time. Grab my charger because I didn't grab it the other 19 times I walked out there. Oh, goody, look, now I have another purpose to ask me in bed again. He don't look like he's ready for bed anyway. No, he's not, Bangley. He took a late nap. I got home after five. He took a nap at, like, seven. <laughs> Ooh, it was like a dragon. What do you call that thing? Man, I don't know. It's like the mixture between a gecko and a dragon. A chameleon? It's a quagon. Quagon, there you go. Where is he flying to? Can you harvest from the bones on the ground? Huh. Uh, I can mine. Um, my character is mining. I don't know. I don't know nothing about this game. I shall not lie. Suna. At long. Post heat. Like like a pterodactyl bird. <laughs> I've already went. At least they got nice colored trees in this. Yeah, they got all kinds of different. We're going to the Neverlands to go see Peter. <laughs> Peter Pan. Wow, it was a statue. Or is it, that's just where they nest. That's where they. Oh, right on. He's so pissed that he's not lying. What? I asked him that he slept his blanket while I blanket. He told me he stuffed in the bag and it was out for joke. I didn't see him put nothing in the bags. Neither did I. Ooh, there's a ghost. But I went through all that laundry today. 
everything we don't get that. Well, oh, good. We needed to reduce our laundry anyway. Yeah. But I've seen so many different blankets today that I'm not even sure if I've seen those two blankets in there. <laughs> We're not going to need very many blankets. <laughs> we have more blankets and sheets than we do clothes. Well, it's time to reduce. Yeah. Reduce and recycle. Start making we'll clothes. So you just take the clothes and sheets and you make clothes out of them. Two of those bags you took out were just fabric. Oh, I believe it. Uh, that I was saving to use on clothes. <laughs> but you got ruined. Really Uh, I had a pain. I like all the green ones on that chart. <laughs> What is he? What was he doing? Great port. Teleport. Oh, back to, back to the dungeon place. Oh. <laughs> Our homestead. Yeah, it was my homestead. That was the garrison. Bison. Here. Most people stay away from the orb thingy that's shining. I like that hammer. So are Jade for Didn't grab my charger. No, no, you didn't. <laughs> Shutting down. Power off. Ooh, there's three viewers. Uh, 
Oh no. What happened? My phone's turning back on. Auction done. I think that was. Yo, uh, with your ear? I think he's talking in game. Kane, I don't. Talador. Durator, huh? What's this? Let me go. Now, this place I think Julia would like. I'm watching now. <laughs>
Hey, what's up, guys? Agile. What's going on? Is Agile here? Yeah, he's on the phone. Oh, dang, I need to talk to him. If you give him a couple minutes, I think he'll be off the phone. I got a lot to tell him. Yee. That's kind of bad on esports team.
Hey, hey, Matrix with the luck. Hey, John, we need to talk. Oh, what's up, man? What's up, Nitro? Um, well, somehow I slid my way into an esports team. Oh, there you go. The trash never answered me because I can get him. I can get him into it too. Esports playing what? Uh, Apex. Apex Legends. Okay. Yeah. And the other funny thing is, I'm their graphic designer. Nice. Go. I don't know how I got my way into that one, but I did. Probably put your foot in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that. That's what I did. Saying. Said too many words too quick. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yeah. And he said he's going to help me promote my stream and everything. Nice. Playing Apex Legends. Got to be pretty good, man, in order. What was that? You're like lagging all over the place. Said so you got to be pretty good to be on the team. You still doing what the heck? Glory to Gilneas. We must face our fears. Um Julio, do you hear me lagging? Yeah, you're lagging bad. Yeah, I hear you lagging, but I thought it was just my phone. <laughs> Cause it's been going in and out of service a lot here lately. Interesting. I'm back now. Retro. Don't give me an idea. <laughs> or able to pronounce half the names on this thing. Or what, mine? Hey. Hey, Rick. Who's that? Powers. Oh, uh, look at Powers. Everybody's in trouble now. Uh -huh. Yeah, Julio's my husband. Yeah, I was wondering why I had Powers at the end of it. I was kind of thinking that. Yeah. That's right. That plays the pack. He plays on and off all day. Yes, he does. <laughs> me? No. The owl that said who? <laughs> yeah, Rick. Too. You guys are mean to me, too. Well, it's not mean. I don't know why you expect anything different from me. Yeah, you're always mean to me. <laughs> Talking about my oh, driving really? skills on my racing game and everything. Are you sensitive tonight? No, me no. I get to be mean to him. He's younger than me. I am taller, though. Everybody is. Is that <laughs> so? <laughs> We weren't talking about height. You were talking about age, so I started talking about height. Yeah. I will never have to duck into a doorway or underneath a ceiling fan. I feel ya. <laughs> My grandma and dad's got this chandelier out in the kitchen, though, because the table's not there right now. I hit my head on that damn thing every time. <laughs> Don't you ever People look hit up? I head on my ceiling fan all the well, time. And I'm well, like, most I of the time, I can walk under it, but now, fuck, I'm growing. <laughs> no, they're just lowering it to make you feel better. 
<laughs> Very funny. Hey, we do that all the time for her. <laughs> Make her feel tall. You guys catch any fish there, Agile? I remember one of your streams you were fishing. Oh, yeah. Um, no, that day we didn't. Believe it or not. You didn't? No, was not that, that day. day y'all were hunting? Too many snakes in the way. Yeah. I'm talking about them bullfrogs being huge. Oh, <laughs> boy, they are. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I can't even see you no more. You're like, that body's got you all covered up. How are you swinging? And <laughs> I'm chopping through him. I, I was wondering if he was still standing there, like, all I see is the other people. I even see the points coming off the door. Right? You can see the little purple thing that you make. But you are, like, gone. Is that better? <laughs> oh, yeah. Looking for Mr. Sprocket himself over here. Sprocket? What are you writing on? Uh, I haven't figured that out yet. I think it's a mixture between <laughs> a bird and an ostrich or something. Uh, an ostrich is a bird. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> ostrich is a is a bird, but you see us jokes in there, huh? <laughs> Telling you, Bubba. Telling you. Oh, is this the thing you were trying to figure out last time? Yeah, this dodo bird-looking thing. Yeah. Maybe that's what it is. It's a dodo bird. I don't know. Go find a melon. See what it does. Uh. Dog. <laughs> That is one of Willow's favorite parts. Is that whole melon scene. <laughs> we watched Ice Age today. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. I was uh, making walls. Mr. Blue. She likes the dodo birds and then she likes the mini frog. Python dodo. Oh, it's not Fire King! <laughs> Attack of the killer plant. The plant's gonna eat you. And this plant means business, Bubba. No, it's not even a Viking. That's not fair. It moved. Things it moved. are supposed to be rooted. <laughs> Evidently, not this one. This is a fester bloom. You guys can look out for morel mushrooms or no? What now? You guys know what a morel mushroom is? Mm. No. Oh my god. Like, is it a real mushroom? Like, yeah. not game related? Oh, you can eat them. No, I've never heard of a morel mushroom. They look like sponges. Look like sponges. Look them up on. Yes, yeah, they're, they're the most best thing in the world. Phew! Almost died. Vile branch of Fester Bloom. <clears throat> what is a vile branch of Fester Bloom? Powers, do you know any way for me to get a hold of tries? Good luck. <laughs> Good luck.
when he wants to be known, he's around. When he's not, I can never find him. Uh, message him, and if he responds, he responds. I mean, I, I called him while I was online, and I still can't get a hold of him. Don't you have his number? He doesn't have a phone. Just... <laughs> well, his... Is it his girlfriend? Yeah, his girlfriend has one. Yeah, I don't have her number. And contrary to belief, we just don't hand out numbers. Sorry to tell you. Don't roll that way. <laughs> he has a family, okay? I'm not privy to her phone number. Rose Crook? Shout out, Vigil. I discord I have to never on Facebook. She runs the Facebook page. You what? She runs the tactical chat group on Facebook. That's the only way you hold them to Discord. Oh, I will make his law for this esports team and yeah, I'll get later. You're cutting out, Rick. What? You were cutting out. Yeah, no, my internet's being weird today. No, it's not that. What is it? It's uh looks like the server. Second. Yeah, well I'll be right back. I gotta go make this logo first esports team. Yeah. That's better. Come on. Can you hear me better now? Yep. I could hear you just fine before. <laughs> It was the Sally sensitive tonight that we couldn't hear. <laughs> Aspen was yeah. a regular golf ball routine. Yeah, I found four of them in the laundry room. Unbelievable. <laughs> golf balls? Yeah. What y'all doing with golf balls? I like hitting a golf ball every once in a while. And Aspen likes. Softballs and softballs and soccer balls and anything that rolls. Yeah. I can play nine holes. I can't guarantee I'm going to get par or birdie. Although he was pretty proud of his um, six strokes on a par four. Par five. You said four. It's a par five. Okay. I'm eight and six shots. I play mini golf. <laughs> Why do I need eggs for? I'm not 50. You don't have to be 50 to play golf. Okay. Is that a lawyer or a doctor? You need concentration and appreciation. For what? A stick and a ball? Yep. Because you're all mad and irritated, you're never going to get the ball where you want it to. Well, that's what I'll Come on, off. Happy Gilmore. <laughs> right? He was always mad. He did pretty darn well for himself. I'm telling you. <laughs> the only way I can hit a golf ball straight is Happy Gilmore style. <laughs> That's the wow. truth. I, I just totally pictured you just skipping across the <laughs> green to swing. Right. Into the ballerina swing. Yep. Right down into the ball. Yep. <laughs> I could definitely do that. I'd go to a driving range, just see how far I could 
you know, hit the ball. But I ain't going golfing on a golf course, no. I go play mini golf. Take an hour out of your day. Woohoo! I brought 200 yards is what I can get right now. There you go, you need one of those as a mount. I know it. A hydra type thing? Yeah, two headed dragon. Is there another one flying above you? There is two. They don't like the fact that I raided their nest. Well, I'd imagine not, Egg Napper. We need the material for something. I wonder what was hit me. So I found out about a new organization today that is all about the conservation of indigo snakes. Okay. And, uh, ow. He doesn't look very happy and amused about this conversation, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> they work with uh, breeders to breed the indigos so that they can release them into the population. Those are the ones that... Uh... Eat rattlesnakes. Yeah. They work with breeders to mass produce so that they can release more, and they also work on educating the public on the differences between an indigo and a water moccasin because they both swim, but they look different. But they're both black. You can't really tell until you know. You're right up on them? Yeah. I mean, don't they all swim? Well, yeah, they all swim, but moccasins generally stay in the water. It's not very often you find a water moccasin out of the water. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to get anywhere close to tell the difference. If they're <laughs> swimming in the water and they're coming towards me, you are dead. <clears throat> yes and no. You, you can walk away. I've seen a, <laughs> the black water moccasin. The I size, mean, just saying. The, <laughs> the size of his arms. I believe up here. Yeah, but apparently they're not poisonous. It's still not something you go and mess with. No, it's not, but I'm 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 just saying. Walk up to a pond on a nice hot poisonous. sunny day. Down there you're dead. <laughs> Look, mama and indigo. Never mind. It's a cotton mouth. Right? You'd be got... able to tell once I'm they got out of the water. I'm gonna put it in my water. pocket and just let you do laundry. Uh oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Aiden's gonna put a snake in his pocket. I already know it. I'm gonna pull a coral snake or a, or a rat snake out of his freaking pocket one day. Like, mommy, I found a red snake. <laughs> I'd be laughing. I'd be going, uh -huh. him now. I, I, we have been watching this YouTuber that, uh, Ironically, he lives in Austin. But, uh, he has rattlesnakes. Okay. As pet. Because <laughs> he's a psychopath like that, I guess. And, uh, so I've had Aiden watching the videos and everything. And the guy, he collects venom and turns it in for the anti-venom and that kind of stuff. Like, that's the whole purpose of keeping the venom of snakes. Um, but still, he's... Crazy. The, the venoms are um, for snake bites. Yeah. Well, right, but that's the, why that's, somebody. That's gets, why he keeps them. <laughs> that's why somebody gets that license for venomous snakes, so they can. Yeah, breed the population to produce venom. Anti venom. But there are also different colors and stuff about it. He's got some really gorgeous rattlesnakes, but no way would I ever go anywhere near them. But I've been having Aiden watch them and be like, okay, so you see what that looks like? That You don't go anywhere near that. <laughs> and even the guy in the video, he, 
He's like, yeah, you don't want to go up on these at all. All right. How do I disenchant Are you, like, are you rescuing this dude? Or is he going to come get you after he's released? Oh, no. He's going to come get me. <laughs> so why are you releasing him? Part of the quest. You gotta kill him. Pick it. What did Rick leave? Probably. He's very sensitive tonight. He said he had to go work on uh his um Dad burn it. What was it that, that he called it? Um, uh, it's a thing like the persona. Avatar? <laughs> no, I don't know. I was just saying, you must have just been trying to get a hold tack. No. He's not the first person to come to me looking for him. Well, yeah. When you want to know something, the cockroach always knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, now that everybody knows I'm his sister, they're like, hey! <laughs> But that's fine, because when they hear from him first, I find out. <laughs> well, I get to pull a table out of the middle of nowhere, and I shrink down to two inches. What? That's what he did. I must be sitting down. I don't know. I wish I could read the words on the screen. Alright, I don't know the first thing about this. How's it going, everybody? Ruth, are you going to have to help me? What, did you just join up in a group? I've never ran this before. What is this? I can't read. It's too it's small. It's a dungeon. So you joined up with this group of people to do this quest together? It's too far away. Now you got people following. Oh, I see why. It's more like the dude that uh, guards the Eisenberg. <laughs> Just a little bit bigger. The key master. The walls are pretty cool. Why is there just a propeller spinning? That's a sword. Not doing any damage. Mr. Aspen, go make some dreams. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He did not find another hop with the golf ball in place. Wow. Lightning bolt. I have a dragon. Well, you know what they say. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening. <laughs> now, Leo. Look, he's 
No, just kidding. <laughs> Is that how you reheal yourself? Are you stealing his gold? I'm out of range. It's too far away. That's one, you get them all. Look at all them whippy things. This sprouts and that just come out of the ground.
Hey, Agile. What's up, man? Been a minute. What's up? Been, been excessively busy with efficiency. And I hear that, dude. I hear that. So, I, I just had a day that my thumb are bleeding. If your thumbs are bleeding. But at the end of fishing. You know what it means when your thumbs are bleeding at the end of fishing? Yeah, you're pressing down too hard. Oh, I lipped so many bass, the teeth cut into me and started to make my thumbs start bleeding. We wear gloves. Gloves are for pansies. And it was hot outside. I wasn't in the mood for that. I was sweating before I walked all the way to the pond, and it's only like 40 feet. Uh, I'm not so going there. Tragic. Not going there. Yeah, I know you live in Texas and you're sweating the second you walk out the door, or whatever. <laughs> uh, no, right now we're in New York and it was 30 degrees this morning. <laughs> yeah, I bet you that's nice. No, it's not. No, honestly, like 50, 50 degrees is nice working weather. Yeah. I'm going to sleep. I've been up for like 12 hours and I fished 8 of those 12. Yeah. Well, talk to you. I'm, I'm probably going to hop in here tomorrow, Agile. I ain't got nothing going on. I may actually go fishing again, but that's All right, whatever. man. That always sounds like fun, Bubba. Yeah, you have, have you been fishing yet? Yeah. Good. Life did a couple times. Well, I don't pay attention to live streams anymore. I ain't got the time. I think I've caught how many fish? I keep it in a little Google Doc. I've caught over 400 bass this year already. Yeah, are they over five pounders or? Uh, I've had four over five this year. Um, a lot of threes, because the pond I fish produces a lot of threes, couple twos. You know, you get things every once in a while, everybody does. Right. Um, I had an eight yesterday. On a Mondo swim bait. Yeah, I was using a bait caster. Mondo swim bait. Right. I'm a firm believer in Senko. You know, you know what I caught on my fish on today? A Senko. A turtle. One of them. Green pumpkin yum. I caught every single one of them. On. And it, and we, I was just fishing around the bank with a couple friends, and we were just going around the bank every five foot. We'd catch one. It was. Fish ish today. I lost count after 20, so I'm just calling it 20. I caught more than 20, but I lost count. Really just stopped counting. And then my friend, one of my friends caught nine, the other one caught like 20, around the same as I, many as I did. Just caught today. We can't fish that pond, we might overpressure it just with us three. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to sleep. Uh, we caught a five at it. Well, I didn't catch it. Uh, my friend caught a five with a uh. Uh, little dam they got going on. Right. And he smoked a five, and I was like, three minutes after that, and didn't even, I didn't even see a fish. I didn't even see my line twitch. Wow. I didn't see nothing. But he caught that five pounder right there. I was like, well, I'm putting a crankbait on for a little bit. Yeah, no. We fish, uh, my, I told you my mom changed jobs and works at a bar now. But, it, like, a country club bar so it's not like a bar it's like a there's and... nothing wrong with either one but still yeah, but it, it, there's, there's a difference you know it gets paid a lot more than a regular bartender uh also so we fish at the golf course ponds and those just produce so many fish because nobody fishes and eats them the pond because they have to keep it looking nice you know Right, they they stock those just for maintenance purposes, for appearances. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> And you hear a little splash. I play golf there too. It's like right before you drive, you hear like a little big, big, like uh, splash from a fish hitting a bluegill on top of the water. Oh, that's the most beautiful right. sound ever! Right before you drive. But yeah, the, most all those fish are stocked because they all have the exact same markings. They all came from the same place. There was one golf with an extra fin. All the fish in them were put there. But I mean, fish can travel other ways. Like my uncle has a pond that he never put fish in, and now there's fish in it. Oh, well, I mean, right? Eggs stick to birds' feet and stuff. That's how fish got out to the tank. But a lot yeah. of golf courses intentionally stock their ponds for like oh, yeah. to yeah. keep it pretty, because the fish will eat the algae and everything else. Yeah, this carp. Uh, actually, I got permission to take a pellet rifle out there and start shooting carp in the head whenever I see him. Why would you do that? Just take. No, listen, listen. I, I got, I got, I got a bow fishing rig. There you go, baby. Yeah, I, I bring it out there every time I go. I didn't, uh, I didn't bring it today because the truck was full of shit, anyways. But getting out on a lake at two or three o'clock in the morning with the bow fishing—that's about the best thing to do right there. Oh, get, get you, you some spotlights you on the front of your boat. Oh man, when you hook onto a. 30, 40 pound carp. It, there's, I mean, w with a bow? Among the stores, yes. like, I, I'm sorry. Nothing. Wait, you're a boat with four 50 gallon drums full of carp. Yeah, then you're doing something in life. I've never done that, but I've been on, you know, I've shot them out of pontoons and out of stuff like that. You know, I've never shot that many. I think the most carp I ever shot in one day was like maybe 40. Well, him and, and, that's it was... and a couple other guys would go out, and uh, there'd be like, I don't know, five or six of them on the boat, and then they'd have four or five barrels, 50 gallon tubs. That's right, everybody And they'd them fill up. them up with fish. They're an what? invasive species. Dude, dude, s smile every time I see carp come out the water. Well, yeah, I, I, I disagree with one time I saw this. I was fishing on the dock in a very public place. There's at least 10 people on this dock. And this guy uh, tossed his line out there. Four seconds later, it got a bite. He, and he set the hook, and he felt the first second. He's like, God damn effing gar. He, pull, he pulls out his pistol, sets it on his chair. I didn't even know he had a pistol on him. Aaron lifts it up, shoots it in the head, cuts the line. On a dock, public dock. And it lets it drop in the water. What? He didn't even pull it on the bank? Oh, he literally lifted it up out the water with a 16-foot catfish pole. Big, heavy catfish pole. Like this, you could have snagged some tuna fish with this thing. Right. And he well, lifts it up out the water, puts his pistol off his thing, takes his safety off, shoots it in the head, cuts the line. Wow. Somebody on got a, my rig back. On a <laughs> yeah, I would have uh, cut the line and wouldn't even reel the gar in. Yeah, but he decided to do it. I would have got it in as far as I could and cut the line as close to the hook and let it go. I actually like playing with gar. They're really cool historic fish, but they're okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Captain, for the follow. I appreciate it. How are you doing tonight? I need to go to sleep. It's 10 30 and I gotta go to school. And, uh, Agile, I got my uh, grades up and then I also. Uh, at the end of the first semester my, of my junior year. That's awesome, buddy. That's awesome. So I've been kicking butt and taking names in the school. <laughs> Be out of high school, middle of next year. Nice. But man, I, I got I got seven more days of school and I'm ready for summer. Okay. Every day. Oh. I literally told myself one week, me and my friends are going to go out there, pitch a tent, we're going to set out there for a week. Bluegill rods and catfish rods, that's all we're going to bring. There you go. Just and our sure boats, of course. Out there. <laughs> and we're going to pitch our tent right there on the water bank, and if it starts raining, we're just going to move it up a little bit. Heck and yeah, we're going to set out there for a week. Catch, and... Yeah, I think we're gonna do that the second week of this summer. 
I ain't still planning on doing. Well, I got, I gotta go sleep. Oh, this is my boat key I was looking for earlier. <laughs> Alright, man. You can <laughs> still... You get some rest, myself. buddy. Oh, that's also my gun safe key. My extra gun safe key. Okay. Yep. <laughs> wow. This is a good game. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty cool character. I want to play that one. I want to be the can. angel. <laughs> Is it pulling power up the other two? But you can't kill them. Who's got the dire So this is another one in front of a door. So what are these, uh, like titans that guard these doors? It's a dungeon. That's a pretty big warden then. <laughs> go big or go home. I, I, I think I just passed on entering that dungeon. That's a mighty big warden. One of them. Oh, wait, you're Horde, right? Or are you Alliance? I don't know. I'm Alliance. Alright, so you're like people, not blue. <laughs> yeah, I'm blue, not red. Uh oh I gotta go through here. Ooh, buddy. What the? Hmm. 
Look at the rack on that thing. The mighty Fenrir stalks these grounds. It will Dinner, anybody? And dial to slay this beast. A perfect test of your worthiness. Uh, see? Dinner? Dinner. <laughs> I'm boned. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Just saying. Why don't you stop and ask for direction? Bison just sounds meaner than a yak. <laughs> Yakety yak. Don't talk back. Next thing I'll be yakking in the car. <laughs> That thing's like gnarly looking. Beast.
Hit the beast wisely, Ben. Yeah, they did this. I'll be outside. Kind of reminds me of, um, throughout your trials, the walkway. You have demonstrated yeah, on Thor. Skill and yep. I was thinking Mario Kart for the 64.
take joy in crushing you. <laughs> Succeed! of Agrimar is yours for the taking. Test comes too late. If these false champions will not yield the Aegis by choice, then they will surrender it in death. Give up the Aegis or die! <laughs> the Valajar's strength, and yet here you stand. There is one final trial that awaits. Me. Should you triumph, I will carve your names in these sacred halls myself and grant you a reward worthy of your valor. Have you brought valor to these halls? 
Squish the bug, squish the bug, squish the bug. He's not a bug, but okay. Well, that's what that guy's gotta be thinking every time he stomps down. That I got a cape, but I don't know what Tell you what, you definitely picked a weird one tonight. What one? Ponyo. Hard. It was a goldfish that looked like a turtle that turned into a little girl. Oh, that that weird Japanese yeah. one. The anime one. My sister's probably seen it. Probably. I don't know, every time I looked at the cover, I thought it was about a turtle. But no, it's a goldfish. What's up, foe? <coughs> How you doing, man? Oh, I haven't. No game audio. Really? Give me a second. Oh, we're supposed to be hearing something? Why are you telling me this? There's stream. There's 
Thank you. Oh, that's why I wouldn't know. That's odd. Is there supposed to be music or something playing right now? Oh, just stuff in the back. That's chat. That's game. All right, hold on, fellow. Let, let me see what's going on because it should should have sound coming through. Can you hear it? Because I see it coming through on my side. I don't hear anything. Do you hear that? Nope. Can't hear that at all. No, all I hear is chat. Like us talking. Turn on the music. Can you hear the music? Mm -mm. Oh, I'm starting to hear music. Yeah, I can hear the music now. It's really quiet though. But then again, my speaker's going out on my phone, so. But I can definitely hear the music now. My time. Is that you adjusting the settings? Yeah, the past must not be repeated. Yep, I can hear him talking. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, see, I never had the stream volume on, so I didn't know.
50%. Okay, I can do that. some stuff. Bank. Welcome, welcome. Dionysaka. All right. What can I do for you? Be careful. See so if we can't find a bank somewhere. Little numbers are funny. They stand up in the chair instead of sit down. Yeah, right. How's me of powers? Huh. Your time. Okay. Sit down. I can't. My table. <laughs> she still looks like a little girl, little kid riding in the car sometimes. Really? Oh, yeah. You look over and it's like. Why are you sitting so low? <laughs> Hello? Could have put her to Dalaran. That is a Chinese dragon. <laughs> Not a clue. The monsters were in here.
So you named your dragon Falcor, right? No. Why? Because he don't look like a luck dragon. Right? Looks like a Chinese dragon. With a beard. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Holy Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I got a... No, I see empty spot. I got stuff that you can't even get anymore. I know, and I, I need to send a lot of the stuff to see the banner if I don't know which one. your back. Do what? I was looking at stuff. Oh.
cut now Good. Light be with you. For the Alliance. Okay. Box number one hundred and sixty-four. The secret scrolls. Don't you, buddy? Don't you? Do you really need all this stuff? Uh, yeah. So 
lot of stuff to keep track of. I'm not where he goes. And I'm trying to clean up my right. Okay. So I guess it's kind of really the little goldfish gives up magic and the little boy says he loves her and then they save the world. <laughs> nice storyline. Oh, it was just one of them random picks. It was... I just forgot to say that one little thing, but I was... <laughs> Alright guys, I think I'm gonna call it here. Why do you think he's so... Hearing every other word. <laughs> I said, let's see if there's anybody that we can read. I'm going to call it here. Thank you all so much for being here. Thanks for all the follows and all the views and all of that. Um, hopefully I'll be on tomorrow. But please, everybody, please take care and have a wonderful, wonderful. Let's get ready for this raid. Agile, okay. what's up? How's your stream, brother? Thank you for that raid with a party of five and the host with seven. Always appreciated, sir. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, just dropping some solo squads, you know, um, scrubbing it up in some row. Oh, by the way, we made the uh, the league. Grunto Esports is now a active competitor in Row C. 
CL Season 2. Appreciate that follow. Powers Mama93. Julio88 Powers. Thank you for that follow. I appreciate it. Always appreciate those follows. Thank you very much. Julio, I apologize. Yes, <laughs> the J pronounced as an H. To warn anybody, but I think we're being followed. Gotcha. 